Hey everyone, welcome back to Barity Cubing 101. My name is Joe, I'm your host, the Barity Cuber. In today's video, as promised, I'm gonna show you how to solve the three by three by six. Uh, in this video, we're gonna deal with parity. We're gonna deal with new algorithms, notations, and if you have not seen my notation video, the last one I did, go ahead and check that out. Uh, it might clear up some questions that you may have about this video or possibly other videos. We have a lot of information to cover, so why don't you go ahead and grab your cube, and we're going to get started right now. Okay, folks, we're back. Here we go. Uh, white on top, red facing us. Green is going to be on our left. Okay, so make sure that uh, your colors correspond with mine. If they don't, well, then just memorize. If you have blue on the left, then make sure you have blue there. It depends on how you got it from the factory. It depends on... Uh, you know, if maybe you stickered it yourself, you know. Um, but in this case, we have green on our left. So let's go ahead and scramble that. That's all we need to know. White on top, red facing us, green on the left. Let's go ahead and scramble. Okay, folks, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to find uh, the white centerpiece. It's right there. Okay, and uh, then we're going to surround this white centerpiece with, um, well, all right, well, this has helped right here. Um, here's the white red, and remember, we have the green over here, the orange here, and the blue here. So let's find the white green. Um, well, I know the orange is there, so let's just put that to the back. Okay, it goes right there. Um, here's the white green. It goes right there, and the white blue right there. Okay, so without paying any attention to this piece and this piece, um, right here we have the white center, white red, white green white orange and white blue okay great um so let's move on let's flip the cue over so the white is on the bottom and now we're looking to get a red piece here and here um a green piece here and here a uh, orange piece here and here and a, a blue piece here and here Th this is already taken care of um so let's see if we can put two uh orange pieces right there we're gonna get them from this these two rows up here um, so basically, what all you have to do is flip it 180 degrees, which is an R2 move, and keep turning until you find an orange. There's an orange there. Flip it back down. Okay, you still have your cross. Um, <clears throat> so we have uh, all orange here, all blue here. Let's move on. Uh, let's see, two reds. Well, there's two reds right there. So we, all we have to do is simply turn this 180 degrees, put these two in, these, in this position right here, and then turn it back okay um, and then uh, we need a green so let's see just turn that put that green in okay and turn so basically all you did was uh, you have your cross white cross red green orange blue and then you just put um, two pieces uh, corresponding colors uh, right above or below them um, okay, so now uh, let's flip it upside down so that we have uh, white on the bottom. And we're looking to get this row done right here. Okay, so the row here that I'm pointing to with the blue, the red, and the green. This row right here. Okay, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to borrow from pieces up here. Um, so right now we need a red-blue piece. And we just happen to have a red-blue piece uh, right here. Um, and we want to make sure that it's opposite of these colors. So red on this, right in front of us here, needs to correspond to this red. This blue needs to correspond to this blue. Okay, so just as long as this piece is flipped, it will fit in there. And all we have to do is uh, an R2, U, and I turned all three layers, R2, UI, R2. So the piece that was there is now right there, and that fits perfectly. Um, and right now, we're not worried about any kind of um, parity because everything is so screwed up right now, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so let's just turn the cube anywhere we want. And uh, now we're looking for a green-red piece. So you just keep turning these top three layers until you find a green-red. Well, there is no green-red right now. So let's just move on. We'll go over here. I'm sure this is the green-red that we're looking for. But let's try to kill two birds with one stone. If we can find orange green, that'd be great. So here's the orange green. Here's probably the green red we're looking for over here. So let's swap this one for this. We'll put this in the correct spot and then this will come up and we'll end up putting it right there. 
So um, with the green, red, so uh, the orange, I'm sorry, um, the orange, green, so orange to orange, green to green, this is opposite of these two colors right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and flip this. Um, R2U, R2UI, R2. Okay, so that flipped this uh, green, uh, orange into position. So let's turn the cube back this way and move these top layers into position where now this green red, um, which was here, we put it there, now we got it there, is in a position where the green is opposite this green and this uh, red is opposite this red. So let's go ahead and do our uh, algorithm again. Uh, R2U, R2UI, R2. Okay, great. So let's look around the cube. All these reds are complete, the greens are complete, the orange is complete, and uh, now we got to work on the blue. Okay, so we're looking for a blue, okay, blue orange. Here's a blue orange. Um, and if it was like this, where you have an orange blue, that's not what we're looking for because remember, we want this piece here to be opposite of th th this color combination here. So we don't want orange to orange and blue to blue. We want blue to orange and orange to blue, okay? So go ahead and do your algorithm, uh, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Okay, so now the green's complete. This whole row is complete right here. All right, so, uh, and let's have a look. We still have our blues intact. We still have our orange, um, green, and red all intact with our cross uh, all intact here. Okay, so continuing on with uh, the white on the bottom, uh, we are now going to... Uh, uh, work on this row right here and uh, the way we're going to do that is the same same premise but this time instead of getting the pieces from here we're going to get it from this second row up here all right so we need a orange uh, green so let's keep turning this till we find orange green great so we're just going to go right there with the 2r u now notice i only turn these top two layers and, and not this one, 2R, UI, 2R. Okay, so that placed this piece right here, but you're, but it kind of messed up this. So what happened was all this layer here went up there, okay? So if I were just to simply turn it back, you would see that this is fixed, okay? So this is no big deal. So let's just keep it the way it was. And now we this is a parity situation, okay? So we wanna make sure that we continue using this right side. Don't turn the cube at all anymore. Um, you just gotta turn the bottom, okay? Just these two bottom ones. Um, and right now we're looking for a uh, blue orange and we're gonna get it from up here. So let's keep turning this until we find a blue orange. Well, we have an orange blue, so that's no good. We want blue orange. Well, it's not gonna happen, so let's keep turning. Um, how about a red blue? Well, here's a blue red, that's not good. Here's a red blue, so that one's good. So this one's no good because we want, um, we don't want color to color, all right? We want opposite colors. Okay, so let's, with the, uh, let's do the algorithm with the, you know, keeping the right on our, uh, the uh, parity on our right hand side. And we're going to go 2R U, 2R UI, 2R. Okay, so uh, that flipped the parity back into place while placing the blue red. Okay, let's turn this. And now we're looking for a red, uh, I'm sorry, a green red. So let's find a green red, okay? And remember, now we're only turning the, these two top ones, not the, not three. Uh, we're only turning the top two. So is this the correct piece? Green and red, yep. Green, red, yep, that's good. So R2U, R2UI, R2. Okay, great, so that placed this piece and now we're back into parity, all right? This is the parity one, uh, pieces right here. And you can confirm that if you just turn it back, you'll see that um, the parity is fixed. Okay, but just keep it the way it was and let's continue on. Let's turn these bottom two. This one's complete. 
Um, this one's incomplete, so let's get this one going. Uh, we, we need a blue-orange, so there just happens to be a blue-orange here. So when I do this algorithm, um, it will flip this parity back and put this one in its proper position, right? 2R U, 2R UI, 2R. Okay, great. So let's uh, turn this all back. And uh, you can see that both these layers are all complete. So here's all the reds, greens, orange, and blue. If you uh, look on the top with the white, you still have all your orange. You still have your uh, blues, uh, reds, and greens lined up. So that's great. So let's flip it back over so you have the white on the bottom. And uh, now we're going to start looking to get um, this row complete. And the way that we're going to do that is by using an algorithm to get uh, some headlights. So right now we don't have any headlights on this row. So we're going to have to create a set. It doesn't matter how you, um, where you hold it right now. Um, so just hold it in any position and go uh, 2R U, 2R UI, 2R UI, D. Um, turn all three as a D. 2R UI, 2R, U, 2R. Okay. And nothing has, uh, nothing adverse had happened to the, uh, <clears throat> what we had just accomplished. Um, but, and what happened is we just gained uh, a set of headlights. Okay. So here's a set of headlights. Let's keep it to our left. And now we're going to do the same algorithm once again. So it goes 2R, U. 2R UI, 2R UI, D, uh, 2R UI, 2R U, 2R, okay? So uh, we still have uh, all this complete down here, and now we have uh, headlights all the way around. So here's the orange, blue, red, and green. Okay, so right now you can hold it any way you want. Um, so let's just hold it like this, and let, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll teach you an algorithm here where we can do the adjacent S swap, where this orange is going to go here and this green is going to go here. Um, so using this algorithm, we're going to go ahead and um, complete the green side. All right, the, this won't be complete here, um, but at least we're going to get one, uh, <clears throat> uh, one of them complete, and that's a two R U, two R U, two R one two, two R. 1, 2, 2R, two U, 2R, two UI, 2R. Okay, so these two did swap. The green is now complete and um, the orange went right there. So let's go ahead and turn this and it's got to be in these positions right here where it's facing, one of them's facing you and the other one's to your right. Okay, so um, if I were to switch these two, well, then the, the red would be complete and the orange would go there. So that's fine. Let's do that again. Um, so let's go 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 1, 2, 2R, 1, 2, uh, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. All right. So the red's complete. And now we have two left, the orange and blue. So make sure that the they're, uh, one's facing you and one's to your right. And let's do the algorithm again. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 1, 2, 2R, 1, 2, 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. Okay, great. So all the orange are complete. The This is complete. This is complete. And this is complete. Okay, we just happen to have headlights all the way around on uh, on this layer now. If you don't have headlights all the way around, go ahead and do the headlight or uh, algorithm that I just showed you. And uh, well, this is actually a really good situation here because um, it's complete on this side and complete on this side. But so now we need to do an opposite edge swap where we have to put this green back here. And then this blue needs to go here. So the way to do that, this is called an opposite edge swap. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to do a, and this is a real easy algorithm. Um, so this is another algorithm you need to keep in your portfolio here. Okay, so it's uh, 2R12, uh, 2R12, two, 2R12, two, 
two are. Okay, and then you go one, two, well, three. Okay, so uh, that completed the uh, red, the green, the blue, and the orange. Um, now we have a parity situation. So before we complete this top row and this bottom row, um, we need to deal with this parity situation because these two pieces need to be over here and these two red pieces need to be over here. And the way that we're going to do that is by keeping, um, by keeping this uh, parity right in front of us. So the oranges are on our left and these reds are on our right. And what we're going to do is uh, we are going to go uh, up two okay so just split it right in half see what i did i just split them right in half okay so up to uh r2 f2 um what was it up to then one two just these top two um uh f2 r2 Okay, and then just do an F2. And that will uh, flip these two pieces here. So uh, now we're good all the way around. Okay, see that? All good all the way around. Now um, what we want to do is we want to complete this um, top layer over here. Okay, and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use, use the pieces that we find on the bottom row. All right, so way down here. Um, and just as long as these pieces match up, the red to red, green to green, orange to orange, and blue to blue, um, we can do this. We can use these bottom pieces that we find on the yellow side. So in this case, it's orange green. Um, okay, so here's the orange green. The white orange green needs to go right there. What we're going to do, the way I'm going to get this up here is I'm going to put this piece, this white, orange, green, I'm going to put it to the back so it's right back here. Okay, see it? It's right there. The white, orange, green piece right there. That needs to go up here. So I'm going to go um, 2R, U, just the top, 2R, UI, 2R. Then I'm going to take it from back here, okay? is back here I'm gonna turn it to the front and I'm gonna do the same thing 2R U 2R UI 2R okay and now it's placed so now we have a orange blue so let's go ahead and find the orange blue all right so this piece needs to go right there and I'm gonna turn it to the back down here and I'm gonna go 2R U 2R UI 2R Oh, okay, sometimes these things get stuck. Um, then bring it from the back to the front. Okay, so it's right there. See the white, orange, blue? And we're going to do the same algorithm. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R. Okay. And that completes the uh, top row. Now we're going to flip it upside down so that the white is on the bottom. Okay. And... Uh, we want to, well, we got headlights here, all right? So if you didn't have the headlights, go ahead and do the headlight algorithm. Um, we're gonna have to do it again anyway, because I need to get headlights all the way around. And that goes with the headlights on your left, you're gonna go 2R U, 2R UI, 2R UI, D, 2R UI, 2R U, 2R, all right? You put this one back. And uh, now we have all the blues complete, the orange is complete, and now we just need to solve for this right here. Um, and that's simply uh, an opposite edge swap, or an, I'm sorry, an adjacent edge swap. And it's, the algorithm is, with and with the setup move, is one of the pieces facing you and the other pieces to your right, you're gonna go um, 2R U, 2R, U, 2R, 1, 2, 2R, 1, 2, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Okay, and you just put that back. Now we have parity again. Okay, so well, we're having a real focusing problem here today. Um, okay, so parity. Um, 
So all these greens need to go over here and all these blues need to go over here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it in half. Okay, see, see that? So you split it in half and you go R2. Um, all right, I'm, I'm sorry, that was up to. So let's start over again. It was up to R2, F2, up to, and then one, two, okay, because you want to match these. Um, F2, R2, and one, two, okay? And that's how you solve this cube. Right, so it's solved all the way around. Okay, well, I guess that's uh, that's it, man. You know, that's the uh, three by three by six. I know I went kind of fast, but um, you know, you can be able to figure this one out. It's no big deal. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, next time we're gonna do the next cube uh, that I promised. Um, which one was that? I don't remember off the top of my head right now, but okay. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon. Bye.